TPG reader David is going to go to Hong Kong and Phuket in Thailand. He wants to use his U.S. Airways miles, which is a smart idea because I firmly believe that once the U.S. Airways merger goes through, which will probably be this week, uh, that award chart's going to go away. So those 90,000 mile business class awards from the U.S. to North Asia, which includes Hong Kong, are going to be something we talk about. So book them now. Uh, so his question is, if he flies uh, through Hong Kong and, and to Phuket, uh, will it price out, even if he does a stopover, will U.S. Airways price one leg the North Asia rate, one leg the South Asia rate, which is 120,000, significant increase. So here's the deal with U.S. Airways. Try to have your destination be Hong Kong, because it'll price out at 90,000 miles, but you can still stop in potentially like Bangkok, depending on how you route it. Bangkok is a Thai Airways, uh, hub, most U.S. Airways reps should let you stop there on your way to Hong Kong. Uh, some reps may get crabby and be like, oh no, you're going out of your way. But in general, if you get the right rep, they don't know their geography too well, Ben at one mile at a time always jokes around about that. So try to get a phone rep and just try to put together an itinerary where you can stop in Thailand and then continue on to Hong Kong so it prices out at that level. You know, this also works when you go to Australia. Get this, so if you fly to Singapore, it's going to cost you 120,000 mi miles in business class. If you fly to Singapore, stop, and then continue on to Australia, your award ticket will drop 10,000 miles to 110,000, which is the South Pacific Australia level business class award on US Airways. Yes, adding on two eight hour flights in business class will save you 10,000 miles round trip. Uh, and just to answer your other question, US Airways doesn't price a la carte. They're gonna choose the highest level of your award, even if some segments are in coach or whatever, it's always the highest level of the uh, most expensive or where your destination is. So um, play around with it. It may be a little frustrating. There's a bunch of different threads on Flyer Talk on maximizing Star Alliance awards with US Airways. It may take a little bit of time, but if you put the time in, I'm sure it'll pay off. But enjoy your trip to Asia.